I'm Cameron Scott. We're here in Wilton Manors, Florida. As you can see, I'm standing here with Adam Buska. We're on the set right now of his no-hate uh, shoot in, uh, in Wilton Manors. It's the first time he's ever been in the Southeast United States. So, uh, Adam, looking forward to a good time? Oh, yeah. We're, uh, we're excited to get a new voice to the cause and show this is not just a California issue. So we're excited to be here in Fort Lauderdale, for sure. We're good. I've got my tape and i got my tattoo, so we're ready to go. Stick around, guys. So, friends, what's your name? My name is Holly. Holly, and you're here for the No Hate campaign shoot, right? Yes. Clearly, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody just does that for fun these days. So, so how was it? It was actually really cool. I really admire him and everything that he does, and it's, it was really neat to get a chance to work with him. You kind of came a, a, a little distance for this today. Where did you come from? Uh, coming, Georgia. Right, so, in the Atlanta area. So, about how far away? Uh, it took me about 10 hour drive, but I have family here, so I was on vacation. Oh, uh, okay. Well, still, we'll still count it, though. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm glad you came and hope you enjoyed. Well, thank you. Yeah, Maybe we can grab on each other's shirts and pull each other in. Good. Take a step away further back so you can pull even more. Good. Okay. Nice. Look at each other first, pull at each other. Good. Now, is it me? Good. I don't know if you can, like, tell you guys how long it is. Okay, so I know your name. How about you? Uh, tell everybody else. Jerry. Jerry, what are you doing here today? I'm uh, supporting the No Hate campaign with Adam. Oh, so did you do a picture with anybody today? Yes, I did. Who? You. Oh. <laughs> That's what, you think our pictures turned out pretty good? I think they turned out great. Oh, they're going to be fabulous. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, well, thank you for coming, baby. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Uh huh. Here you go. Hey, how are you? Good, and you? Good. Tell us all your name. My name is Elaine. Elaine, now I've heard that you actually, so far today, have come the farthest, all the way from New Hampshire. Yes, I did. So is it just for the photo shoot? Oh, no. No, I know, we know, we know, we know you moved here, but... So, um, so what made you want to come today and get, get a picture done here for the No Hate campaign? My daughter-in-law. It's a gift for her. So is, uh, is... She's very involved in this, and she brought me... Um, the site, she sent me the site, and she got me very involved into it, so she asked me to do this for her birthday. Well, good. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to be a great present for her, I'm sure. It's going to be a surprise, too. I didn't say I'd do it for sure, so it's on the slot. Kind of left it a little ambiguous for her. Yeah. Okay, we know we appreciate you coming out, and I can't wait to see what they look like. Me, too. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, like, down the shirt. I'm standing here with the most beautiful girl in the world, Misty Eyes. And Misty, uh, rumor has it you actually just won a title, correct, didn't you? Yes, I am the Sunshine State All-American Goddess at large. For 2010. For 2010. Yay, so I got one this year and you got one this year. Yay, you're the new Stonewall. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it's been difficult. Everybody asked me that I win something and I said it was a participation ribbon. and everybody got one. And <laughs> they laughed at it. But not everyone got a Stonewall. No, no, I did. Just me. Well, and Miss Stonewall. She was awesome. She was intense. I love seeing her perform. So uh, you're here today in support of No Hate, right? Yes, absolutely. I am so excited that the No Hate campaign has come to Fort Lauderdale and broadened its horizons to the East Coast. And we actually, a lot to do with you. You've uh, got on the horn with them, got them to be the Grand Marshals and here, so thank you for that. Yeah, you're welcome. I actually Twitter him. I follow him on Twitter, Facebook, and MySpace. And I'm like, you know what? I have many contacts. I will reach him somehow. And we... Fortunately, our lines crossed at the exact time, and it worked out. Well, good. Well, actually, I think it's your turn, so I might want to get you up there and get yours done. No hate. Thank you, honey. Same thing. Twist this way a little bit, maybe. Sorry. 
And then back on the double foot. Yeah. Okay. Can you hold a little bit? Just right over there. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Same thing, yeah. Lean out to the side a little bit. Yeah, good. Yeah, like that. You should be more this way. Good. Stay like that. Just press this one over there. Adam, first off, I just want to thank you so much for coming here to Wilton Manors for the Stonewall Pride Festival um, uh, to do this photo shoot here and as well as the Grand Marsh for the Parade. And I know everybody in this city and actually the entire state, pretty much the East Coast, you know, we've had people come from far out of state for a photo shoot today. So um, when you see people drive hundreds of miles and, and hours and hours to come to just to take a five minute photo shoot with you, what does that mean to you? I mean, for us I know it's a little overwhelming and it initially started with a, a photo, of Jeff's photo that we took after the passage of Prophet Zene. It was our way to speak out. And we never really intended it to become this big organization. But now that we see these people getting involved and lending, lending their faces and telling their stories, it's almost a responsibility to get those stories out there and make sure that they're heard. Uh, this is a California issue. It started with a California issue, but it's not, it's not about that. It's about everyone and everyone um, having their rights protected, essentially. And if you don't speak out, it, it's at risk. If one person's right are at risk, everyone's rights are at risk. Um, and essentially, when the majority has the right to vote on a minority's right, I mean, that never, it's, it's, it just never went out for the minority. So it's our way to speak out and be heard, make sure everyone's rights are heard. Has it become a little surreal to you to, to start off first with, you know, with your partner, and then, you know, you're photographing, you're photographing Senator McCain's daughter, and then, you know, all these people in Los Angeles, these celebrities who want to step up and do it. Um, do you ever feel that maybe people are doing it for the wrong reason, just for the... I mean, there's always the question of um, the vanity. I mean, it's a glamour campaign. I mean, everyone looks good, but I think, I mean, that's, it can get easily lost in the message of vanity, but I think ultimately what we're focused on is the greater good. Um, it's two years past the fact that Proposition 8 was passed and we're still talking about the issues. We're just, it's a creative way, uh, creative way to keep the dialogue alive and essentially keep people talking about what's important. So yeah, I mean, uh, um, there's glamour involved, but it's an advertising campaign, a marketing campaign, and everyone looks good. So I think it's, that's part of it, but it's all about the greater good. Eva, uh, we shot about 125 plus people today. Um, you've shot thousands over you know, the years that you've been doing this. Who, who's the most fun you've ever had at a shoot with? I mean, that's, it's really hard to break it down to a specific one person because I think the cool opportunity about this job is being able to photograph the many different stories and seeing the different diversity involved. But I mean, it, it's easy to say like working with Steve-O was a lot of fun. It was just crazy. Um, Cindy McCain was just an honor. It was overwhelming to us because it was unexpected and I mean, it was a surprise to all of us. Um, each of them have like a little, little different element and I mean I love being able to travel with it because we see in different parts of the nation just different stories come out and people post for the campaign not necessarily in response to same-sex marriage but for equal rights altogether. So everyone has a, a way that they're involved and I think it's just cool to see that. Where do you see the No Hate campaign let's say five years from now? Well, ultimately, we see the campaign is just starting out. I mean, we hope to travel with it more to cities, uh, to different cities. Um, we just got to Fort Lauderdale. We've been to Atlanta, San Francisco, Dallas, New York. But we hope to make it um, raise awareness in every city that we can, in every state, and hopefully someday internationally. We just set up structurally, organization-wise. Um, we hope to launch a media campaign that involves billboards, new PSAs, and magazine ads. Any, anywhere, essentially, photos can go, we hope to be there. Where can, um, where can our, our viewers and anybody who didn't maybe get to make it to the shoot or is just hearing about you, where can they go to um, you know, donate if they want to help or to you know, find out where you're going next? Um, go to our website, nohatecampaign.com, or follow us on Twitter. It's just at nohatecampaign. And we're also on Facebook. You need to search uh, uh, Facebook slash, or facebook.com slash nohatecampaign. Awesome. Well, Adam, we, we appreciate you being here. Definitely. Thank um, you. And we can't wait to see you again. All right? Thank you. Thanks, bud. All right, tapes off. We're all done here. As you can see, Adam, though, still busy taking away. He's going to be here kind of all day. Appreciate you guys being here. Be sure to check it out, nohatecampaign.com. And tune in next time right here on careerchannel.tv. Elaine. Elaine, and Elaine, you came all the way from New Hampshire, didn't you? Yes, I did. Oh, honey, how was that drive? Uh, very long. <laughs> I bet. <laughs>